watching Who's on Deck, and I'm your host, Leah Guy. And our first up is Duke of Fremont Street. The Duke of Fremont Street. The Duke <laughs> of Fremont Street. I know it's a mouthful. Yeah. What do you play every day? Well, I play uh, No Limit Texas Hold'em. And No Limit means you virtually can bet all the money you have at any given time. When did you start playing poker? I've been playing poker virtually all my Everybody knows when you go to Vegas, you lose your shirt. So how do you how do you keep your money and win? My credo is the Duke of Fremont Street, shoot low. Oh. In other words, most players come to Vegas, they have a $500 bill and they're trying to turn it into a quarter of a million. I walk into a casino with a quarter of a million and try to earn 500 and get the heck out of there. So you carry a quarter million dollars around in your case that is legal, that's yours, it's unstolen, you've made it and you use it at the tables. Does it intimidate people? Mm, a few, but uh, you know. Is that your goal though? To no, intimidate? not really, it's my persona. It's, you know, money fits in with the glamorous persona that I hope to portray. Recently, you, uh, someone tried to kill you. That's true. In Vegas mm -hmm. for your money, I guess, right? Oh, yes. Tell us what happened. You went into a hotel, which is, not unusual for you. <laughs> right. Well, one of the things I do, I collect shiny round objects, gold, silver, diamonds. And I had dealt with this party before I had bought some of the gold. We met in a hotel room and we were going to do business like we had conducted before. I got hit on the back of the head and I thought, what just happened? So I turn around, I get hit again, and I realize I'm in very deep trouble. So I start an altercation with this guy, that, that uh, the culprit. And I'd forgot that he had brought an accomplice. I'm staring at the duffel bags across the uh, room that I'm gonna be put in. They grab the money, I have a haversack, which is an old leather bag that I had over my shoulder full of cash. There was a gun in the haversack, another gun on my hip. To save my life, I can't get to my gun because I'm fighting with him so I can't get my hands free. Once they see the money, I'm, they, don't, they forget about me. They go in the other room, they start divvying up the cash and I make a break for it. Well, I'm not really uh, a Vegas person per se. I've never played poker my whole life. So we got five grand on the tables, guys. That's what we're playing for. We're playing for that. All right. And I've got a stack of this. Here, I'll put my ring down. That's worth $100. <laughs> okay. Amen. We're going to play a little game called Texas Hold'em No Limit. First of all, we're going to make, uh, let's let's do an ante. Let's do two each. Now we're going to bet. You think that you've got two cards here. Uh -huh. And you think you're better than me, you're going to bet. What's better though? Higher numbers? The bigger, the better. Hold'em's about big cards. Now, do you want to raise or do you want to check? What does raise mean? I raise, was... You make it a bigger pot. What's check You're going to check. Just do that. Say, I check. Check. Guess what? I'm going to check. One, two, three. You got to leave them there and you decide if these help the two cards you have in your hand. If you feel like you've got a stronger hand or you want to try to bluff me, then you make your bet. Otherwise, you check and see what I want to do. Well, I've you come can't. too far. I mean, you're, a, you're you know, you're going to call Put them in. Call you. Okay, so. Oh, do You call me. So now, I'm going to show you. I have a king high. What does that mean? That means I have a pair of fives with a king kicker. Well, I have an ace and a pair of fives. Oh I won! <laughs> Did I win? Congratulations. I won!